River learned that King Hydroflax had the Halasi Andravar diamond embedded in his head. She purported to have married him as part of a plan to retrieve it. For this reason, she joked that she had actually married the diamond itself. At around the same time, she also claimed to have married her assistant Ramon. River planned to use a surgeon to remove the diamond. She sent her assistant Nardal to bring the surgeon to her but Nardal inadvertently found the twelfth doctor and brought him to River by mistake. River did not recognize the doctor in this incarnation. River brought the doctor to Hydroflax, as part of a ruse to steal the diamond from his head. The doctor repeatedly tried to tell her who he was, but she did not understand what he was saying. Hydroflax revealed himself to be a cyborg and discovered River's deception, removing his own head in the process. River and the doctor snatched the head and escaped via teleport to a location near the TARDIS. River discovered the TARDIS and decided to take it for a ride without the doctor's knowledge, indicating she had done it before. After a brief scuffle which trapped Hydroflax's body and the TARDIS with them, River and the doctor piloted the TARDIS to the Harmony and Redemption. Aboard the ship, with Hydroflax's body sealed in a cargo hold, River attempted to sell the diamond-studded head. Eventually, Scratch arrived to buy the diamond, but then revealed himself and every other person in the restaurant to be Hydroflax devotees. A fight ensued, during which Hydroflax's head was ultimately vaporized by the body. After Hydroflax's body decided to seek out the doctor's head as a replacement, River came under questioning as to his location. To buy time by keeping them talking, River claimed to Hydroflax's body that while she loved the doctor, the doctor didn't love her back, and he wouldn't be stupid or sentimental enough to come rescue her. River then realized who the doctor was, and quickly revealed to him that a meteor storm was about to strike the ship and kill everyone and she planned her position perfectly. As the storm struck the ship, the floor broke under River and the doctor, dropping them to a lower floor, and breaking the standoff. The ship descended, with River and the doctor unable to bring it under control. As they argued about who would save the ship from crashing into the planet Darilium, they realized they were seconds from crashing and fled into the TARDIS. The TARDIS shielded them from the crash, but the impact knocked River out. The doctor had regained consciousness first, emerged from the TARDIS on Darilium, and using the diamond, inspired a man called Alphonse to start a restaurant, so he could travel into the future and book a reservation for a balcony view of the singing towers. Dressing formally for River when she awakened, the doctor gifted her with a sonic screwdriver of her own. River expressed concern about the story saying that this would be their last date, but the doctor had accepted that their time must come to an end. The doctor told River that nights on Darilium lasted 24 years and the two enjoyed the view. True to his word, the doctor stayed with River on Darilium for the whole night. Nardal later commented that it was a hell of a 24 years. TV. The Husbands of River Song. The Return of Dr. Mysterio. Jack met with River during her night on Darilium. He asked her to have a proper relationship with him but River turned him down and told him that the doctor was her husband. Audio, R&J